In the next part of our exercise, we're going to create a forensic image of a small USB thumb drive. I suggest that you find the smallest USB thumb drive because it's going to take less time compared to a larger image. So we'll use another USB drive for our digital evidence in this exercise. As you notice, my evidence tree is empty because I had to exit FTK Imager to remove the previous drive and insert a new one. So anyway, if you also have to restart FTK Imager, I recommend uh, that you start it uh, in um, uh, running it as an administrator, which would give you access to the physical hardware on your system. and create disk image. The first dialog box asks me what uh, is the source of my evidence. Again, you can have these choices, physical drive, logical, already existing image file, or contents of, the, uh, of a folder. So I'll choose a physical drive. And again, uh, I am presented with the list of uh, choices and here's this uh, uh, USB flash drive that I attached to this machine which is only four gigabytes in size when you click finish it's going to also ask you for image destination remember the image is just a file which will be used to store an exact copy an exact binary bit by bit absolutely exact copy of the original uh, drive and we have to specify the destination uh, processing large drives uh, may take a long time hours sometimes uh, overnight and in order to maximize the performance you can specify multiple image destinations so that, for instance, one of the images can be created on your local machine and the second one could be copied to your forensic server for storage. I'm only going to add one destination for my uh, physical drive. FTK Imager supports these formats. DD image is an exact copy of the original drive. Other formats uh, support uh, encryption and compression to keep the images smaller and they correspond here to a smart format in case compatible format um, and also advanced forensic format you'll find the details about these formats in FTK imager user guide for my exercise I'm going to use EO1 format which is in case compatible in case is another forensic tool widely popular in digital forensic community part of this uh, uh, format you can specify the case number evidence number and other information right now i'll just skip this information and now it allows me to select the image destination folder of course in my case it just makes sense to keep uh, our work in the same folder so I'll just copy and paste this folder uh, right here instead of browsing for it and uh, image file name I'll name it uh, USB A thumb drive notice that it's not asking you to provide any extension just the name of the drive uh, other parts here would allow you to break uh, large uh, drives into uh, individual files which would allow you to for instance uh, copy them to a, DV to a series of DVD or CD uh, disks if you use zero in this field uh, the file will be stored as one item uh, compression level I'm not going to change this option and let FTK Imager decide how much compression it wants to use so when I click finish I want to definitely check to verify images after they have been created 
Another useful thing is to create a listing of all files in the image uh, because this would give you like a, a, a comma separated uh, value uh, format with the list of all items processed during the images. I'm not going to select this right now. So I'm just going to click uh, OK and now it's going to take a little bit of time to create this image. I'll just pause this recording now. The speed of this process of course depends the size of your image source and the speed of your hardware. You can see also that FTK Imager already created an image file which has E01 extension. This is like I said uh, is called an in-case compatible format which supports image encryption and compression and so we'll just have to wait till this process is complete in my case imaging process took nine and a half minutes you can see at the end uh, we get we get our uh, image verification results which lists a uh, computation of forensic hash and here is the computed hash uh, which indicates uh, the value uh, computed during the actual imaging process stored verification hash is the hash stored directly in EO1 file and report hash is the hash that was recomputed for verification reason reasons and you see that the verification result is a match which is a good result and we can then reliably assume that this image that was generated is exactly the same as the original uh, hard drive in addition to md5 uh, ftk imager also computes similar results using uh, secure hash algorithm md5 stands for message digest 5 hash algorithm and secure hash algorithm is uh, acronym uh, SHA-1. So at this stage, you can just close this um, uh, dialog box. There's no bad blocks found in the image. I'm just going to close this. And also notice that alongside with um, the generated EO1 file, which compressed form is about... Uh, 409 megabytes uh, it also generates a text report right here if you open it so it tells me that this was created by ftk imager which gives me an exact version of ftk imager that i'm using on my system and it's uh, telling me what kind of implementation software it was using to acquire the evidence uh, here are the possible optional uh, fields that I could provide in the image and again it repeats the values of the checksums that it computes during um, the acquisition process and uh, uh, later verifies it and you can see that we have verification results with all the time stamps, stamps accompanying this report and uh, this is something that we can now preserve together with our uh, image that was created and this report you can always use to verify these values later on and make sure that they match uh, so that would tell you that it's okay to continue this image and indicate that uh, the copy that you're using remains exactly the same as generated by this process right here In most cases, you'll see this result where it says image created successfully. But sometimes if you do get some errors, the only choice that you have is just to go ahead and try to re-image again. If this physical drive for some reason is giving you some trouble, uh, you can still uh, probably use your image in, in your investigation, but you have to document every step and all circumstances regarding uh, potential uh, problems with this image so you could still find a lot of information on a drive that does not uh, generate uh, good results uh, for some reason uh, but uh, 
typically you just get the uh, successful result and then of course you're all set to go to your uh, to the next steps in your investigation